my, the inability of my family, especially my older brother, is really disturbing. That's why I left it to my little brother. He, he just ran, you know, I just ran out of excuses for his treachery. And my little brother is either more on my side or has more common sense about, you know, playing it off. So I figured he'd have more sense when it comes to doing the right thing if one of the two decided to do it for many reasons, obvious reasons. Um, women disturb me so much, their inability to step in and um, show me love, you know. When they knew f during my video series, I reached out for them. I reached out to them since, you know, I reached out to them since like the ni early 90s, you know. But the really the disturbing part was when I was making my movement and, and their inability to make the right decision continuously. It wasn't just one or two women. It was the study of 500 women. It was thousands of women. It was the women in the police force. It was the general direction of women's social norms. You know, there's white social norms, then there's white women's social norms, which, you know, the way white social norms rub off on women and how it relates to dating, relationships, and when they choose up, so to speak. Women like traitors. Women have sold out. That's why I'm not going to be friends with them, okay? My group isn't a fraternity. There's no queer shit. There's no jacking off on a cracker and eating it to show that you're a cracker and that you like the color white or some gay fucking shit like that. No. It's real motherfucking gangsters getting together and taking out the motherfuckers who do gay shit like that. To make a long story short, you know? I'd compare it to like the Wu-Tang Clan or Rastafari or the Pan African Movement or them all together in one. Or the real revolutionaries from all religions, you know, who aren't being told what to do by the system or trying to do it because they get something out of it or they have some assurances for their family's future or theirs, but rather doing God's will. That's really what Heru is about. Heru is about a divine disturbance in the force, so to speak, and the people who are willing to do God's work versus the people who uphold white social norms, which is Babylonian social norms and satanic social norms oversimplified. Thank you.